Good morning, everybody. I was just telling Scotty, I um, I realized I left my hair up in my little clip up here uh, when I went to bed last night. I was that tired. We did a lot of stuff yesterday in order to get ready to go to the women's RTR. And we overslept a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dana wanted to go to the first meeting, but I don't think we're making it there. That's okay. Scuddy's down here doing, um, doing what nothing. are you doing? I was doing nothing. <laughs> I was out there putting the uh, solar out for the morning. Right, and nice I'm day. sitting here editing for you guys. And, whew. That's about it for the morning. I am going to get up and start getting cleaned up so that we can get on the road and roll on down it. Yeah, do some traveling. Yep. Traveling day. 30 and, miles. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we'll see you guys at the RTR. Women's RTR. Yeah, right? right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scotty <Can't> and wait. <laughs> Randy from um, uh, Mobile. Uh, Mobile Traveler, he called Scotty last night and said, hey, buddy. <laughs> Are you going? <laughs> you know, it's like, um, well, it's like dragging all the men to a, a women's retreat. That's what we're going to. So. <laughs> yeah, but you know the best part? The women probably have all the liquor anyways. They probably have well, more fun. You men are going to be sitting over there drinking your beer. No, I'm going to be That's drinking women. all your ladies' liquor. <laughs> have all the girly drinks. <laughs> girly drinks. I don't think most of us women drink. Dana know, doesn't that, drink. I don't part. drink You'll very it much. And, and then Sharon doesn't drink except for special holidays. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh well. All right, guys. We're going to end right here for the morning because I need to go get my hair done, get my makeup on. Scotty needs to, I think Stay Scotty closed. needs to get his hair cut this morning before we head out. No, I'm going to do it when we get there because I'll fire up the generator. Oh, he'll do it when we get there. He needs a haircut. All right. We'll see you guys on the road. All right, everybody. So I finally got cleaned up for the day. It has been busy. Hi, we've been talking with our neighbor in the back, uh, trying to get ready Paul and Pam were here, a couple of our friends. They're meeting us over at the Women's RTR. And I've got a few things that I need to get done before we head out of here. One, I want to cut up some vegetables that I bought yesterday. And um, I want to get them kind of cut up, put them in the fridge so that they're stacked in there bed better. I'm really good at Tetris when it comes to that refrigerator, as you guys have seen before. But I like it to be a little bit more organized so that I can put put things in there, see what I've got, and then my vegetables are already kind of prepped up and ready to go. And what else do I got to do? Oh, and I want to put my meatballs together. I'm making meatballs tonight, like I was saying. And I want to just kind of prep those out so that they are kind of ready to go uh, in the oven once we get to the RT or women's RTR because I know it's going to kind of be insane there once we get there. we got a lot of friends going and we're going to, you know, be traveling for 30 miles, which isn't a big deal, but by the time we get there, get set up, visit with our friends, um, I've got to edit, all that stuff. Dinner kind of gets put to the backside, so on travel days, I'm going to try to start prepping a little bit before we go. That way, once we get somewhere, I don't have to try to make a whole dinner right after traveling. So, I'm going to do all that, and then we'll get on the road and get to the women's RTR. You want the cutting board? Nope, I'm just going to take this out and show them. Um, let's see. I just cut down in the center and pop that off. Oh, that yeah. that right there, look how much room you're going to save in your little tiny refrigerator if you just take this off. That's some serious val valuable room right there. I know, right? And, all right. And then I just keep it in here because now I can just go in here and I can break off a chunk if I want to. Or you can take a knife and kind of cut them up a little bit. But... I like to keep it whole because I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Mmm, that's so good. Yummy. As you can see, our fridge is pretty packed. 
Let's see. We've got all Looking of our vegetables, good. Vegetables, vegetables. Uh, we're having uh, meatballs tonight for dinner. We always buy a rotisserie chicken, and we do a lot with those. So here's my next thing. We bought 18 pack of eggs, and you can see what I did. Because if if I put this here whole, it's going to come out to here, and then you have to stack things on top of there, and then this back part kind of gets clogged up. So if I stack it like this, I can still get in there. I'm actually going to turn this one around because if you have the opening, then you can just reach right in there and grab yourself an egg. But that's how you travel with the large rack of eggs, right? Is that what you call it? Rack of eggs? No. I don't know, but I thought you said rack and that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more piece of uh, vegetable that I forgot that we had. Um, if you've watched us long enough, you know that we eat a lot of cabbage. And this was the only head of cabbage in Walmart. Period. Yep. I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to get a green one and I wanted to get uh, this purple one. But we'll have to do with just purple. And purple, I believe, is actually more nutritious for you. I'm not 100% sure on it's that. It's more expensive, I know that. You can look it up on Google. Anyways... <laughs> This I actually uh, cut in half and um, quarter it and then I can put it in here and I can fit it in a little bit better than if it's just a big round object. Oh, that is a hard cabbage. So pretty though. It is pretty. I'll say one thing yeah. about this stuff. And yummy. Um, I'm actually making uh, meatballs tonight and so... I think I might use half of this as a side dish for that. So that might, I think I'll do that. So we'll go ahead and just leave half, a quarter of that out. And then, uh, I'm not, I don't have my cutting board down, but that's okay. I'm not going all the way through. It's, I know where, I know where to end. So basically just keep it all together. Probably would have been easier if I had that. Oh, and then this outer part, I don't really need that. That's uh that's not looking too shabby there. Oh, this is good. If you haven't tried purple cabbage, oh man, get yourself some and try it because I'll tell you what, it is really good. I used to only buy the green, but this is so pretty when it cooks up and it's 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 just got a heartier taste i could probably get more in here but i don't want to really suffocate this stuff i want it to be able to lay down a little bit well there you go and we'll use that up quick very quick and so i don't have any worries about that uh spoiling or anything i we use cabbage um like people use potatoes we a lot. Alright guys, I am kind of rushing a little bit. I wanted to be able to um, get my meatballs made up. Oop, crash. I wanted to get them made up before we head out of here. I don't need to put the whole dish together. I just want to get the meatballs uh, made up and formed so that I don't have to do that at the um, event tonight. And uh, we, uh, Sal and Sharon are kind of getting ready to roll. Dana's already headed out, and that's okay. So I am a little rushed, but I'm going to kind of take my time. Like I said, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to start being a little bit more prepared dinner wise when we travel because that seems to be one of my biggest things is that we get on travel days we get going and then when we get stopped you know when you're rushed like that you just tend to eat not as healthy and so if I've got things prepared and prepped out uh, before we actually hit the road then that way in the evening it's a little bit easier just pop everything in the oven and you're good to go all right so Let's see, I've got 
my mush or my uh, onions. This uh, I know some people like different types of onions. I prefer to uh, have this kind of onion, little green onions, in my meatballs. I don't know why they just <laughs> they taste better to me this way. And this is I want oh 16 ounces of meat, which is and plenty for Scotty and I. I'm just gonna use this as my mixing bowl because um, I don't really have oh I have a mixing bowl but it's really big, so. And you know Scotty, he loves his onion, so that is four, four onions chopped up there. And then I just have a tiny, tiny bit of um, mozzarella cheese already grated up, and it's probably, oh, what is that, maybe two te tablespoons. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then these... These are, um, they're the cheese crisp, and I just found these ones. They're not as big as my regular ones that I like to, like, use for dipping and stuff, but they're really tiny, kind of like a Captain Crunch size, and instead of using bread, because these are low carb, um, instead of using bread, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break some of these up. And that will give us some more cheese flavor. You could you could use a rolling pin if you're got a rolling pin. I didn't have a rolling pin. All right, so I'm just gonna pop that in there. I'd say maybe maybe a qu uh, quarter cup of that. And of course, you know I love my garlic. Just a table tablespoon here. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. All right, and then I've got basil, which is uh, freeze dried. I could not find any fresh, and this is the next best thing. It's kind of like um, it's it's in the vegetable department near the fresh um, herbs and they do refrigerate this I don't know if you really have to um, but it's just as good so I don't know maybe a good full tablespoon And then, of course, got to have some Parmesan. You can use any brand. That's just the brand that was on sale. Let's see. <laughs> I know I, I frustrate some of you guys out there trying to cook because um, I don't measure, but I don't know. A good clunk of that. Maybe like that. I'm going to do three of those. All right. I've got two medium eggs. You can use whatever size you want. I don't know if it really matters for meatballs. All right. And I am not putting any salt in because remember I used the uh, crisp and the parmesan oh it helps if you take the lid off your pepper so maybe just a teaspoon of pepper good old Italian seasoning and I would say maybe a half a teaspoon of that okay that's it. My hands are washed. So I'm going to go on in and start mixing this around.
All right, I've got my meatballs all rolled up. I've got them on a plate. I've got them in my pan that I'm going to use tonight just so that they don't get smushed in the refrigerator. I'm going to pop these in the fridge and we're on our way. In the front of the cab and we are getting ready to head off. It took us a little bit longer. We were supposed to leave at 2. It is now 3. <laughs> it not bad. Is. Not bad no. for us. Um, we've got to stop and put some air in the tire. We've got, oh, uh, I don't know, maybe a small leak? Is that what you're thinking? It might be. I'm not sure. Or if I didn't get it in well enough. And uh, I want to put some air in the airbags and yeah. stuff like that. So. We, our tires, they're not that old. No. They're no. not that old. How old are they? Year and a half. Year and a half. So they're not that old. But, you know, we're out here on BLM land and it's really rocky and it happens. I don't know. Hopefully it's I don't think it's a, yeah. I don't think it's a leak or anything like yeah. that. Having more issues with uh, the truck battery, so I think it's time to uh, kind of figure out to get new batteries for the truck. It's We're, they're just yeah. Well, they're they're six years old. I think they are past their time. Yeah. Plus, I really need to get a what is it? An inverter or something like that. I've talked to Aja oh. about it quite a lot. She scolds me every time we use our battery from the trucks, but that's the only way I can run my laptop. So we're looking into that, but we're hoping that we can wait until we get home this next uh, um, summer and go to Les Schwab because that's where we do all our shopping for our tires and our batteries. Right. And so we're hoping we can do that. But anyways, <laughs> we're getting on the road. We got to get to the women's RTR. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm he's really gonna have about. fun. He's gonna have I fun will. because um, a lot of the guys are going, so it's gonna be just another fun event to go to. So let's, Absolutely. let's go. Let's hit the okay. road. We are on the other side of this wash here, and I'm waiting to see if Dana is going to be able to bring her rig uh, down this wash area. So, hi Sal. Hey, I'm just scoping this out. Okay, so that we can see if they can get up here with us, because this is where Scotty and I are with our friends up here. So let's uh, just wait and see if she can get it out here. All right, so here comes Dana trying to get down the wash. Or actually, that's Steve. So it's the back end that they all have to worry about. Ah, made it. Right on. Steve was able to get in here. So now the other thing is to see if we can get Sal and Sharon in here with their big rig. So we'll see. We made it, Dana. Lady back again. Yeah, well, we made it. Yay! To the women's RTR. Sal and Sharon got in here. Hey, Terry, we have to do it with all the men, okay? Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. We have to do it with all the men. Yay! And, oh my gosh, okay. This is um, the noisy area. <laughs> it's where you can run your generators and have music. And then way over there is the women's RTR. And this is the area if you've got men coming with you, they, we have to be over here. Oh, we've got Pam and Paul. We've got RV Rebel Girl. We've got Debbie over there, pill-free in, in my RV. And we've got Randy, mobile traveler. We've got Jimmy, Wandering Jimmy over here with Olive. That over there is the no, um, no generator area. But my understanding is that some people have been running their generators, so 
you know, that's just how it works. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up my video here. Scotty turned the oven on 350. I've got my meatballs all rolled up that I made before we ended up leaving. And I've got a couple tablespoons, teaspoons, let's see, probably a tablespoon of olive oil in here. I'm warming up. I'm going to turn it down to about seven. You kind of want to hear that sound. And then I'm just going to brown these on all sides. You're not cooking them all the way through. And you don't want to really steam them, so you don't want to have them smothered in here. If you have to do a couple batches, then uh, just do that. I'm going to go ahead and push them kind of a little closer than I normally would, just because I can get them all in there. You've got to be kind of gentle, just fork around them, jiggle them out of there. So that they let loose from the bottom because the eggs are in there and they probably want to stick a little bit. all those yummies that are from the hamburger. You can do this with chicken as well. Ground chicken. That would kind of make a Parmesan chicken. little green parmesan tad bit not much and then some fresh parmesan all right 350 and you just want to cook those until those meatballs are done probably about oh I don't know 25 minutes 35 minutes I'll let you know Okay guys, let's see what it's doing. It has actually been in the oven. Oh, let me trade hands here. It's actually been in the oven for 45 minutes because I went out and I was uh, talking with everybody and I uh, got a little sidetracked. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Yum. I've got my... Oh, yikes. I've got my onion and red cabbage over here, my zucchinis with a little bit of parmesan on them, and look at those meatballs. Yum! Alright, so we've got the meatballs, the zucchini sitting on the cabbage and onions, 
and I made a little salad that's got just uh, lettuce, tomato, and some artichoke. And then I put these little crispies on here that I put into the meatballs. And I don't know what you think. I'm so freaking lucky to have you as wife. <laughs> no, I just I'm want drooling to... already. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you if you thought it tasted okay. <laughs> I haven't tasted it yet. I'm ready. I know you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I'm lucky too. All right, guys, we're gonna dig in and we're gonna have our dinner and we're going to bed. We're tired. We'll see yeah, you guys. We're all set up and everybody's here. So yep. until tomorrow, peace out. Peace out, and we'll, guys. And we'll bring you some more interesting things tomorrow. All right, see you guys.